Gabi, 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 Gabi. Hi everyone. I hope everyone's having a wonderful week so far. Today I am going to be talking about some things that I changed in my routine, added to my routine that really helped to clear and help to heal my skin, primarily though my acne. Um, actually, everything I'm going to talk about today um, has to do with my acne. My skin right now is my natural skin. You can probably see some like red spots all over it. Um, that is, the majority of what you see on my skin are my acne scars. Um, I don't get too, too many breakouts now. It's mostly just blackheads that I get um, with an occasional whitehead or a small pimple that'll pop up every, every once in a while. But for the most part, my acne has drastically gone down over the past three-ish years, three, four years, somewhere around that timeline. Um, but none of that came short of hard work, doing my own research, talking to my esthetician, and truly figuring out the best plan for my skin. Um, everyone's skin is going to be different. What works for me may work for you, it may not work for you. I just wanted to kind of share what I've been doing. Give it a try, maybe maybe it'll help you. I, I don't know, but if I can help at least one person, that, that means what I've done has been successful. I do also want to note, I am not on any type of hormonal birth control. I know that that can have an influence on your acne and your skin. Um, I had a really bad experience when I was uh, taking a birth control pill, so I got off it as soon as I could. Um, but that is not a factor with what's happening with my skin right now. I did just kind of want to throw that out there for control experimental reasons. <laughs> the first thing that I changed up was my overall skincare routine. Um, when I was in college, and this is kind of when this whole acne journey started as to when my skin started healing, it was in the, it was in my last semester of college. Um, so I was in my social psychology class and our professor had mentioned just kind of briefly in part of our, in one of our sections, that when you sleep, your body resets itself and it restarts itself and that's when it fixes everything and I had heard that I don't know how many times but it was the time that I heard that time when I heard it was when it truly made the biggest impact because that was a point where I had just started kind of giving up on my skin ever being clear on my skin not having painful breakouts just i had truly just given up at that point i didn't think anyone could help me but when she said that i thought well that's interesting because i wash my face in the morning and at night if i'm washing it in the morning i'm wondering if that's just undoing everything my body's done at night so i did do my own research unfortunately i didn't find any medical based evidence about that but i did find other blog posts and some like Cosmo and Seventeen magazine articles that did talk about that and how that could be a solution. So I don't know those were the actual magazines. I just I found just kind of random articles online about that. So I said, okay, you know what? I'm gonna talk to my esthetician about this. So I brought it to her, and her word of advice was truly just try it out. She personally recommended that you do only wash your face at night, but she said everyone's different. Try it out, see if it works. Can't it can't hurt. Um, that was the probably the biggest thing. I had so I I still do, but at the time I had extreme combination skin. I'm talking both ends of the spectrum. Crazy super dry sensitive skin all the way up to crazy oily skin. I mean I you know how some people will multi mask to um, like target different types of their like different types of skin on their face. I was about to start. I, I almost started multi cleansing my face, like doing one cleanser for my T zone, one cleanser for my cheeks, one cleanser for my chin. It was ridiculous. <laughs> um, I was very close to that. Like that was um that was probably gonna be my 
Hail Mary. Nothing else can really stop this. Let's just go for it. But I did, I started just washing my face at night and let me tell you that made the biggest difference. Um, my skin leveled out, my dry zones became less dry, my oily zones became less oily. I would say after a week I saw a small difference, after a month I saw a huge difference. It's just been now, probably three years later, that my oil level on my skin and my breakout level has totally leveled out and just nor normalized. I'm not saying that that was the, the one thing that helped. I don't know. There's a lot of factors that could have influenced that. Me growing older, different types of soaps that I started using. I truly don't know, but I know that in that moment when I stopped washing my face in the morning, that's when the my skin type started to level out a little bit more. I do still have dry spots. My cheeks still get pretty dry every once in a while. Um, that's influenced with the weather. In the summertime, my T-zone still gets oily. I'm not saying that it's 100%, I keep saying normal, I hate that word. I'm not saying that it's 100% uh, on that equilibrium spectrum all the time, but it has truly, truly helped keep that under control. <gasps> that was a lot. <laughs> the second thing that I did was I switched up what kind of soap I was using. Initially, I was using a charcoal soap all the time, um, and I would say that worked throughout a week, and then it just caused me to break out more. But uh, I went to the art market with my mom when I was visiting her one weekend, and her soap lady, yes, my mom has a soap lady, um, but her soap lady had told me um, to try a goat's milk soap. And she admitted she had no idea why it worked, but that a lot of her clients with bad acne and with bad acne scarring try it. So I had purchased two soaps that day. I got a oatmeal and honey soap, which um, my friend who is a licensed esthetician had recommended that I try out. And then I also got the goat's milk soap, just thinking, worst comes to worst, if it doesn't work, I still have soap. Like, meh, whatever. Um, the goat's milk soap worked amazingly. Like, I, um, amazingly. And I couldn't figure out why for the longest time, because since I do have inflamed acne, I was kind of hesitant about using a dairy product on my skin. Um, but... What I found, what, when I started doing more research on my own about it, was with my type of acne, I need probiotics. And goat's milk has a very high concentration in probiotics. So that was what started to help. It didn't necessarily help with the breakout, but it helped to reduce the signs of my acne scars. And if I did have a breakout, I wasn't getting as much scarring afterwards, if any scarring at all. Most of the time now when I do have a breakout, I don't get any scarring, which has never happened before. My skin is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> um, with the type of acne that I have, I'm just more prone to getting scarring. And I've had multiple estheticians tell me it's it's just gonna happen. You can't stop it, but you can help to heal it properly so it doesn't scar as much. Um, but the goat's milk soap, which I have my bar right here, um, I get it from a, I don't go to the same one that my mom goes to, but I do have a local soap maker that I get my um, my soaps from, but I absolutely love the goat's milk soap. That has helped soothe my skin, clear my skin, and then also ultimately really help heal my skin and then reduce that scarring. I am looking for a more plant-based um, alternative to goat's milk. I haven't been able to find one that works as effectively, um, but I am still looking. If you have any suggestions, by all means, please comment down below. Um, I, I would love to hear them. I have, <laughs> um, I have done a thing where I just take probiotic capsules, mix them with like a little bit of water and just kind of pat it on my skin or I'll just wet my skin, just pat the probiotics on there. That has helped, but it hasn't necessarily helped to clean my skin. It just <laughs> helped with the scarring. The last thing I use, and this is probably my favorite thing out of all the things I've tried in my skincare routine, that is the Trilogy Rose Hip Oil. I'm obsessed with this with this little guy. Um, I buy mine at Whole Foods when it goes on sale. In Florida, I think it's just Florida right now, I could be wrong, don't quote me, 
but if you have an Amazon Prime account, you get an additional 10% off at Whole Foods. And when this little guy goes on sale, I stock up because um, it ends up being cheaper to just buy it from Whole Foods with it on sale and gain that extra 10% off. I think I got this bottle for $18. I wanna say it's originally 25-ish. Could be wrong, but when I was at Whole Foods, I compared prices and it was cheaper for me to get, to get it at Whole Foods. Um, but what it is, it has like a little, little eyedropper and I just put about like two drops in my fingers and then I just apply it to my skin every day um, before I go to bed. I absolutely, I love, 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 love the rose hip. It smells amazing. It has really helped reduce the signs of my acne scarring. Um, I used to look like I had chicken pox all the time. No joke, I looked like my skin, like my face had chicken pox. This has helped so much. This has truly helped to reduce these signs of my acne scarring, as well as helping to rehydrate my skin. I, I don't even know all the uses of rosehip oil, but I know that that's what it's done for me so far. I've tried a multitude of brands, but by far the Trilogy brand is my favorite brand. It is certified organic and truly it just helps to nourish your skin, give it that, that nice glow, <laughs> um, and then reduce the signs of your scarring. I absolutely love Pro Tip Oil and like I said, I do put it on at night. I put it on my skin at night and then I just put my normal moisturizer on over top of it. But yeah, I've only been using rosehip oil for probably two years now. It hasn't been too, too long. No, not even two years. Maybe a year and a half. But I absolutely love rosehip oil. Yeah, those are the everyday things that have really helped my skin. I do have other things that I use, but I don't use them every single night. But those are the three things that truly do make a difference in my skin. If you have any tips, I would love to hear them. Comment them down below. If you do have a recommendation for an alternative to the goat's milk soap that is plant-based or vegan friendly, also comment that down. Um, I'm open to all options and, well, all vegan options. <laughs> um, I am open to suggestions. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see all of you very, very soon. Bye.